Hey, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Kids today, episode number three. I'm joined once again hey, by... Jasmine. By Jasmine. And today, what have we got in store? We have already done how to download and install GarageBand. We've showed you through all the different instruments. We've recorded our first song using some loops. Yeah. Today, what I thought we would do, Jasmine, is yeah. I will hand over the iPad to you <laughs> and we will actually jump in and record a song using our instruments here, using some of the okay. autoplay functions yeah. so that we can actually get yeah. together a really quick and simple song. Should we jump in and do that now? Sure. Let's go. Okay, so dive in here now. We need to yeah. create our new song. So to do that, we tap create on document. Create Document. Now, what we thought we'd do, we'd do a bit of a pop song here, something a bit cool, a bit funky. So um, the first thing that I... <laughs> first, so the first song came to my mind. Yeah, the first... Funky. To get funky, yeah, let's get funky. And to get funky, we need some drums, right? Do you reckon we should start with some drums? Drums. Uh, but wait a minute. Do you think we should use drums or should we use something a bit cooler? Should we go back to my songs? Let's use the drummer. Let's use the drummer instead of drums. So can you find drummer for me there? Here it is. There you go. Now we're going to choose which drummer we want. So tap on, do you want, should this be acoustic or more of an electronic dancey type track? Electronic. Electronic. Electronic and then you play a guitar. <laughs> Sweet. My friend. Sweet. Alrighty. So. Okay. Yeah. Whack on the electronic there, and let's see who we want to be our drummer. So, by default, we have our lady Leah here, and she's got her after hours beat. So, hit the play button there and hear what this is going to sound like. Very funky. Do we like this? Is this going to work for our funky beat? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's some funky beats. Alrighty. So, what I, what I think we might do here first of all, now, you've got eight bars, yeah, so you know when you start a GarageBand project, it's eight bars. Well, I know you know that, but for those watching, it's eight bars. Now, what we're going to do is we'll show you how to extend that, because I think we want to have at least a 16-bar track to start with. Can you press on the little plus button, the little hidden plus button right in the top corner? There you go. There it is. Song sections. Hit on duplicate for me, and let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, there we go. So what has happened there? We've got two versions of those eight bar loops. We've got 16 bars in total here ready to go. So tap on all sections now so we can see what we're doing across everything. And then just tap out of there back into your... Yep. All right. So are we happy with Leah? Now, in Drummer, you can see here that we can change around. We've sort of shown a little bit of this before. We can change around the beat. We can add in bits. We can take out bits. We can do things here. But for now, so that we can get into it, how about we move on to our next instrument? And what other, what other sort of bassy instruments should we have for our funky song here? A bass? Sure. <laughs> That's a bass. Tap on our track view. So do you know how to go to track view? No. Okay, on the top top left, so you've got my songs, then you've got another thing, and then you've got your track view, which is all those oh, little that's lines. That's it. Yeah. Here we are, we're back in our track view. So to add a new track in our track view, we tap on what button? Wait, what? Do you remember what button we pressed to add a new track? Plus button. There we go, the plus yes. button in the bottom left there. So we've got a new track added. Now we want some bass, so let's find our bass. bass. There's our bass. Now, bass. what sort of bass do we want here? Tap on more sounds this time, and we'll find a funky bass. Now we're, we're, we're probably on want bass. yeah we want electro we want some sort of electronic bass. So do you want to try an electro bass or a light cycle or a sequence beats? What is that sequence bass? Uh, try one of those on for size and see what we're going to get. How about Liverpool? Is well, that funky? Well, Liverpool's sort of more for your acoustic kind of songs. That's okay. more like a rock and roll. So I'd pick one of these. You can see the difference here. Some are like real guitars. And some are like synthesizers, so I reckon sequence choose one of those bass. synth bass, yep. Okay. Tap on it. Sequence bass. Alright, so this is our Ooh, sequence yeah. bass. Now, sequence tap bass. on some of these and let's hear what it sounds like. Just tap on the actual string. Oh yeah. I like that. So what I thought we might do, so we can just tap the, so tap the notes and we get our sounds. But you notice this dial up here, gentlemen. Can you see this one here? What is that called? A dial? <laughs> what does it say underneath it? Autoplay! 
Autoplay. And autoplay means that you can make it play I'm without to having clap to. clap with my iPad in my hand. Clap, clap. This is clapping. One <laughs> hand. <laughs> this is the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> All right. So let's dial Yay. in some autoplay. Now, what you're going to do is if you dial that, turn that dial around to say number one. And now you'll see that our strings go away. And yes, you tap randomly on a whole bunch of uh, different ones. Rightio, so are we ready to go? And would you like to record some bass? So you've been sort of tapping around here, but just tap on one and let it run for a bit and just listen to what it sounds like. Yeah, nice. That's what I call funky. That's what I call funky too. Alrighty, well, we've gone back. <laughs> so you, no. you're, you're just showing us how you can get back to there. So tap on, yeah, yeah there you go. Chords, notes. Chords and notes, yep. So we want chords, we want chords, we want autoplay, okay. we're good to go. So yeah, if you do want to go between notes and chords, you can tap on the top right yep. there as Jasmine's doing, Peace and it will do that. So let's now, before we run out of time, let's actually record some Yay! bass. So if you tap on, what's going to happen is Jasmine's going to hit record, yeah, she's going to hit the record button, and it's going to count in one, two, three, four, and then what she'll need to do is she'll need to tap on which letter of the chord she wants to play like before this. it starts. Like, like that. So we're going to do this in C major, aren't we? So what are the chords that you reckon we'll use here, being in C major? What do you reckon? C, F, and A minor. C, F, and A minor. So you've got your first. You don't need to know about this musical theory, but yeah, you've got your first, you've got your fourth, and then you've got your minor of your first in the <laughs> A minor. Don't worry if that means nothing to you, but this is yeah, going to be a cool... Doesn't. This is going to be a cool thing to do. Now, the, the other key thing is, there's a couple of other things you've got to keep in mind here. You've got to tap on just before it gets to the next bar that you so want like, it to start on. One, two, three, four... One, two, that's it four, one, two, spot on good job one, two, so that's good practicing because if you tap right on if you're a little bit late it won't change the chord in time for the next bar and then you'll be stuck on the same chord which would not be cool and you would cry just like that how about we get on with this now and when it goes past the other thing to remember is that when you stop recording just let it go for a little bit because what we can do is we can bring it back we'll show you how to sort of slide it back afterwards slide it back <laughs> But we can't actually do that if we don't go far enough. All right, time to do it. Hit record and let's get underway. There you go. And yeah, you hit play instead of stop at the end. But that's okay. It still worked. It is still fine and dandy. So we, we've got our 16 bars. We've recorded that We've recorded that over eight bars. So now to see what it looks like here, what we've actually recorded, let's tap on the track view. You remember this one now, the track view? Yeah, you got it down. So we're back to our track view and we've got a whole bunch of dots and dashes and things dots going on here. But layers. this is just representing the notes that are being played. So we didn't have to know a single note, did we? As the iPad slides away. We didn't have to know a single note here. We were able to do this without having to do that. Um, Yes, hold it. If it flips over, your screen recorder will go and we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> It'll be upside down and people will be like, oh. All right. So tap on that big green bar there, Jasmine. Tap on the big green bar and highlight it just once. Now, what you need to do is you need to grab the handle at the very end there. See that white handle? And slide it to the left. All right, let's try this again, because what you did is you held on to it a bit too long and you zoomed in. If you need to zoom in, hold on to it like that. But this time, just tap until it goes le yellow, lello, and then slide to the left, and that's it. Let go. There you go. We've got our eight bars. Now, what we're going to do now, remember last time we used loops? And remember how we looped them and it went yeah. throughout the whole thing? Yeah. Let's loop this bass to go the rest of the, the way. So do you know how to do that? Press the loop. Uh, well, no, that's a good guess because that's what we did last time, you go into the loops. But this time around, you actually tap on that. So tap on the big green bit again. Green. And look at those options up the top there. Which one of those options do you reckon we use to loop this track? The one that says loop. Yay! <laughs> Hit it. Let's do it. Loop. Bang. There you go. So it's it looped that it. out. There you go. Now, what do we need? So we've got our drums, we've got our bass. I think we need some sort of like keyboard or synth kind of sound here. What we do you like reckon? like an electric keyboard. Yeah, something like that. Some sort of keyboard sound. So how do we get our keyboard sound? <laughs> See, you, you go ahead and do this one. Let's add a track. Show me again how you do that. We go back to plus. Yes, hit on our little add icon at the bottom there. And now, how do we get to our keyboard sounds? Um, you go 
go like this and swipe until you find keyboard. Yep. Keyboard! There you go. Now, we're going to tap on, go to the more sounds. Let's pick a cool keyboard sounds. Now, what I like in a song like this it? is some sort of synth. So maybe some sort of synth What's lead. Synth? So maybe What's check it. Synth? synth means a synthesized. Synthesized. I don't say it very well because I've got a bit of a list. So I say synthesize. <laughs> synthesize. I can say that. Synthesize. Synthesize. Everyone get your tongues out and say synthesize. So let's find that synth sound that we need. So some what sort of synth, synth lead or synth, synth classics. Let's get a synth classic going on in classic here. Classic grand. That's a classical grand. That's a piano. Wasn't exactly what I had in mind. How about you tap on that piano and let's choose an actual synth sound. So over on the left, over on the left, let's go synth classics. Synth. Classic. Yep, and pick one of those out, digital plucks or electric marimba or a floating fifth digital element, whatever. Pucks. Yep, pucks. all right, try that one. I said pucks, like hockey pucks. All right, now tap on, so hit done. done. Yep, done. tap on one of those keys, see what this sounds like. Oh, yeah, that's going to work so nicely with what we've got going on here. That's so, nice. let's once again use our autoplay, because we know our chords now, yeah? Can you remember the chords that we did yeah, already? So, yeah, it's yeah. a little bit different here. So, it's, what we yeah. need to do here is go to our chords mode. So, over on the very far right, and under all those dials, right. tap on that one that looks like a big long bit with the uh, rectangles. That's it. Okay. And you can yeah. see that's been enabled. Now, we're back and this will look pretty familiar. And, yep, let's load up our autoplay. So, top, so just, yeah, just tap on it and see what it sounds like. Hmm. Maybe go to like two or three or four. Let's find something a bit more complex. Yep. No. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yep. All right. Now we're good to go. Now you'll notice here that there's sort of three areas we can do. We can either tap on the very top here, very top. which will do sort of a bass sound and a treble sound. Tap in just the top section. Sorry, the, uh, I didn't explain that very well. The middle section. Yep, and tap it again. Now tap in the bottom section. That's oh, the sort of bassy sound. Higher, lower. So I reckon we'll use all of them for this just to have a nice full sound. That one. All right, so should we do our thing again? Well, should you do your thing again? We'll yeah. hit, hit record and let's dial in these chords. job that's it hit your stop oh. button you are a quick learner that was only the second time you've done that and you nailed it you got your chords right so what jasmine has done there is pretty cool and you notice that she used the chords so she used c f and a minor and what garage band does by default is it puts you in c major you can change that we'll look at that another day there's some yep. options to do that but any of these chords that you use are going to sound pretty good together the key is don't do what jasmine did to start with and just tap randomly like yeah, outside of bars go. Oh, but that sounded pretty cool, actually. Actually, did. Yeah. Anyway, maybe do do that. But no, if, if you want to use the autoplay function, make sure that you just do one chord at a time and do it for at least a bar or a couple of bars so it yeah. sounds cool because you're going to get a cool sound. All right, so now I've got one more task for you, Jasmine. Okay. You need to go back to your track view, do what we did before, trim it, loop it, make sure that we've got cool 16-bar track here ready to rock and roll. So can you do that? Go back. Track view up in the top left. Yeah. We tap it. We tr Oh, good job. Yeah. Trim it back to the eight bars. Yep. Tap yeah. it. Loop okay. it. Wow. You are a quick learner. That is awesome. We now have 16 bars of our three track song here. Name it. We now have 16 bars of our three track song here. Name it. Name it. Yeah. What are we going to call it? Your first track was called The Shaggy Dog. Yeah. So what are we going to call this one? Shaggy, this is gonna be the shaggy hippopotamus. <laughs> the shaggy, funky hippopotamus. Yeah. Alrighty, well, we're going to end on that note. Uh, maybe if you've got some comments or suggestions about this track, why don't you let us know about those in the comments? Should we add and some vocals? If you vocals? want to change the name, <laughs> <laughs> no, it is the shaggy hippopotamus. I'm sorry, it stays. That's the one thing that I will not change. Okay. Okay. Sure. So until next time, yes. we will see you next time. 
Let's go out with the shaggy, the shaggy hippopotamus. <laughs> Let's go. Egg. Sign out. Sign out. Sign out, suckers. <laughs>